and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for a special Saturday stream today. That's right, we're doing the sub battle Saturday stream. We've done this a few times and now what we have it scheduled is the last Saturday of every month. <laughs> this is Hawkeye, he's the best. Last Saturday of every month, uh, this is what we're gonna be doing. Um, it's just, it's a whole lot of fun. So how, how this is gonna work is I'm gonna be playing against subscribers throughout this entire stream today. I will, like, they'll be, have, they'll, we're going to be playing best two out of three matches, unless they want to be playing best of one, then we'll be doing that. Um, but they'll have, like, all their sweet decks that they'll be playing each and every round, and I have uh, this wheel that has 40 decks, maybe 41 um, decks, that uh, I'll just be spinning to see what deck I'll be playing. And so I'll be playing a different deck every single round, and so we get to see a whole lot of cool interactions and neat decks and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So everybody has been in chat. Uh, any subscribers left that if you've not typed the word battle, if you're just joining, type the word battle into the chat. And we'll be seeing who our first opponent is. I'll answer this question here real quick. Do you think is it is reliable to play with at least 50% win rate in the top 500-ish bracket? I want to play it, but I don't want to mess up my, my rating. Um, I guess so, yeah, you're probably thinking, like, is it Phoenix? I would, if I had to put a number on is it Phoenix of, like, over, under, or exactly 50%, I would honestly probably choose under. Not by a whole lot, but I I think it's a little underpowered com compared um, compared to other other decks. But, all right, everybody's in there. Let's go ahead and, and see who we're playing up first. Real Rankler. All right, Real Rankler, send me that gamer tag. If you were not chosen, and of course, you know, you want to battle, stick around. Uh, after, the, after the match, we're going to just, you know, do it again. So we're doing the, the giveaway style every single match. Um, and then, yeah, you can re-enter again after this. All right, so uh, I'm going to spin the wheel, see what deck I'm going to be playing. Here we go. Spin the wheel. And we're going to let the wheel decide. What deck am I playing? Gruel? Yeah, Gruel Monsters. All right, that's my first deck. All right, so yeah, send me that gamer tag, Rankler. All right, where's Gruel Monsters? Here we go. And I'll show the deck here first. So you can see what we're playing. This was just from, this is a donation deck from just a couple of days ago. Um, it's a pretty cool little one. It's a Marauding Raptor, Dinos, and Hydras. Cool little deck here. All right, so see how underneath Direct Challenge, see how it says, you have to, you have to capitalization matters, send me all that thing, then with the number and everything. Send me that, that's your gamer tag. Perfect. All right, copy paste mine over there for you. And make sure you're going challenge match, best of three, up in the options. Oh, I'm still Lazav, looks like. All right, perfect. Here we go. First match of the day. We'll probably play about... Oh, no, you picked the wrong deck. Here, just... We'll just cancel out. Just redo. You picked the wrong deck. Um... Direct challenge. There we go. So probably be playing about about. Uh, oh, Hawkeye's out of my lap. I'll put this back up. Um, about twenty matches around there. Um, probably split the video into four parts. I've had I have split it into three parts before because we're playing until ten. So like the next six and a half hours, or well, six six hours forty minutes.
All right. I got a good looking hand here with Marauding Raptor on turn two that can go straight into those nice threats already on turn three. Um, on the wheel, I have 40 decks. Uh, the, the link to the wheel is is a little rough because it uh, I'll, I'll try linking it here. Yeah, but basically everything. Yeah, I have all the decks are on the wheel. Yeah, I'm certainly expecting the uh, friends list type type thing to be implemented on Arena and probably with um, probably with Discord. Like there's probably going to be Discord integration with that. Anyway, we have to get some hype in the chat for Aura Sonic with that resub. It is sub battle time. Get those hype boats in there. Thanks, Aura Sonic. Let's go, Rippy. Let's rip this up. 17 months. Aura Sonic can drive with that. How often does Night Pack get its full value in this deck? I mean, it kind of depends on, you know, how you define full value. Uh-oh. Ilharg. That thing's cool. But... Huh. But it's just a really good card. You know, it's just a really solid card. <laughs> All aboard. I got that's pretty good. Spellbreaker does have Hexproof during their turn, so I'm not going to be able to Reckless Rage to kill the Spellbreaker. Alright. Just give him Trample. No, it doesn't, but that's this is still, like, lethal. Oh gosh, yeah. That's certainly lethal. Alright, Rankler got game one. Team chat, up a game. Alright, so my sideboard has a whole bunch of nothing. This looks like this is going to be a difficult matchup for me. Rankler's just going bigger. <laughs> you switched the whole sideboard with this deck? Yes, I could have used Hydra and Reckless Rage to kill the boar. Yes, I could have. Um, you know, decided against it. But, yeah, did not work out for me not doing that. Hey, what's up, Jason? Thanks for that resub there. Let's get some hype in the chat for Jason. Thank you so much. Uh, I went three out of four against Mono Red. Yeah, that's what somebody, like, in the YouTube comments for Sultai... Uh, they said that Mono Red... What is this mountain? I just realized that. What are we doing? What are we doing over here? I'm probably going to have to pay attention to the, the lands that I have and have to replace them all with card styles now that they just added in the card styles uh, two days ago. 
Anyway, with the Sultai Flash, I, I have heard like from the first people in uh, the YouTube comments that the model red matchup is the toughest matchup. The, the thing to do to improve that matchup would be like the shifting Ceratops are the card that's the most unnecessary in the sideboard. And that could be, those slots could be things that are better against Mono Red. Like, you could play Ripjaw Raptor, for example. Um, but then, but, obviously you may not want to be tapping out for that. Other other things, you could just be playing a bunch of Moment of Cravings. That's that's the card that somebody said they are playing a bunch of in the chat. Or, sorry, in the YouTube comments. Playing a bunch of Moment of Cravings. Yeah, I was, I was surprised Rankler didn't just go counter here, considering, you know, like, four, there's a big difference between four and five toughness. That's a huge jump. Man, these are just haymakers back and forth. These games. Yeah, like none of these cards on my sideboard are going to help at all. <laughs> awesome. Yep, just... Yep, after... Yep, just kind of stick around. After each match, uh, we do like a raffle type giveaway to see who's going to be the next subscriber to face me. And there we go. That's all you got to do. So make sure you're here in the chat between rounds. These are some good quick games here. The Gruel Mirror. Oh, and I put on my tie bar. Hey, Necrolepsy. Domri four, like basically all the planeswalkers come in against control. Like that's what, that's what all the the planeswalkers there for control. We have a lot of creatures in the deck. Um. And Dom Refork and Minus and get you some good card advantage. Just kind of fits on the curve that's not, you know, it's something that's not, not three, not five. <laughs> the smallest attack step so far has been five damage. Yeah, there's been, it's just been a lot of damage back and forth. Hmm. Yeah, so I could kill the Elf Hydra for one. But then, so like I do that, I'm you know going like a three mana stone rain. But then like what is this? But then what's the one two doing? Like the one two is like not really doing very much in this kind of matchup.
Rut Row. That card's Close busted. Your eyes and listen to the sounds of the wild. With my aim and their claws, you're done. Cool. This is looking good for us right now. Well, for me, I guess not. Not for y'all, because y'all are going for I've team chat. Too many species this is looking already. good for me. What comes out in the mono red matchup? Counter spells? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably counter spells. Because their their cards are so cheap. But I mean, you do. I mean, like you want to be able to counter like experimental frenzy and and Chandra and that kind of stuff. So you can't just take out all the counter spells. You take out Siren Storm Tamers, or like I guess it's not Siren Storm Tamer, whatever the name, Siren, whatever the. The one drop is that card would certainly come out. Being one toughness. I should just attack with Spellbreaker. Spectral Sailor. Yeah, that card. That card's out. Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to it. It's dealing five damage. Get him. I can't play the other ambusher and save it. Hmm. So I can have Hydra kill Ceratops, but it kills Hydra also. But then Vivian's dead. That's honestly worth it. We gotta kill Vivian. only gets me so far yeah I, I have to do that hey way to go uh oh went 6-1 with teamer elementals at FNM last night good job hmm ow Turn stuff around. All right, we'll just make the ten eleven.
draw all the cards. Cool. That was the one I was hoping to draw. All right, so we'll just let this happen. Oh, that thing has has hex proof. Can't reckless rage it. So Ronus has death touch, of course. So the Hydra, Hydra's gone. But still in a very good spot. GG's. GG's, Rankler. Okay, well, if you are a subscriber, and I did draw really well. I did. If you're a subscriber and you want to be the next person to battle, then just type the word battle into the chat right now. And we'll see. No exclamation point. Just regular... So yeah, Dirk, don't don't do it with the exclamation point. Just do a regular battle. This is for just for subscribers. No, Rankler, that was a good match. That was a good match. GG's. All right, is everybody in there? All right, let's see who do we got. Key. Key Tato. All right, send me that gamer tag key. All right, there we go. Let's spin this wheel, see what deck I'm going to be playing. Letting the wheel decide. Every time a deck comes up, it it leaves the wheel, so the wheel gets a little bit smaller. Golgari Citadel. Okay. All right, so to show the Golgari Citadel deck. I guess I'm going to need to like update the basic lands for all the all these decks now. We need uh, like this one and this one. So I need three swamps and seven forests. Okay. But here we go. Golgari Citadel. Yep, I got the first one. I got first blood, Oslin. Yeah, these love these card style basic lands though. Yeah, chat won. Chat actually won the last time. Um I'll just take Vivian against the watery grave deck. I was 
it was a day like that I I hadn't had like a, a break with streaming for like a long time and I was just like I was just off my game and ooh that's not the water game I was expecting and chat brought it they brought It's fine. Chat brought their A game and and got me. This is blue black pirates. All right, Oslin, I'll see you back later. Ooh, that's that's a little annoying, syncopate. Because it's exiled, so it's gone for the fine finality. Yeah, I just used the Field of Ruin just to get, get another Black Source. Like, that was, like, a time, like, where it was really easy for me to use it. Obviously, it wasn't a good play against Syncopate. I think chat's got this game. And main deck noxious grasp. really not a bad call with the current metagame. Alright, so we're going to have all these duresses, cast down, legion's end, uh, contempt, sure, a bunch of veil of summers, another trophy, lots of sideboard stuff here. Let's cut down on some of the top end. Both finds. Hmm.
Okay. Sideboarding complete. <laughs> yeah. Bring in like the whole sideboard. No, I don't have the play two lands a turn, Dino. I never felt that card be very useful in this deck. It's it's only good like when you're already winning. And you already have Citadel in play. But there's a just so many games that you played and it doesn't doesn't help you. Like, you know, imagine having like the dinosaur in hand here. Just you know, like they they like kill and counter other things and just let the dinosaur be. Yep, Lazav is this avatar. Just one cutthroat and then all counter magic and removal. It's just like exactly what they want. Like the perfect hand. So def definitely got to play around syncopate this game. Which isn't super difficult. The pro the one like little problem here, you know, keeping Veil of Summers, I don't actually have another black source for the Doom Whisper. Doom Whisper would get countered by a lot of things anyway. So yeah, they're going to go I'll keep cast down so I don't get to draw the Veil of Summer yet. <laughs> yeah. That's that's kind of the problem with uh, with Explore is you are revealing you're letting your opponent know exactly how to play against you. everything face up yeah last Saturday in July it's sub battle Saturday I got an army of three twos Kitato's got a three two so who's three twos gonna win I think I got this one. Good old explore creatures. And, you know, being on the play. Getting underneath all these things. Game three.
All right, this is how the first match went. Lost game one, won game two, and then I won game three. We'll see if Kitato takes game three here, though, for team chat. Yeah, I'm not I'm not very good at the best of one format. I don't like game ones. Need my sideboard and hmm. A little awkward here how I don't think I'm playing turn one Lanwar off. I'm probably just gonna go with the Temple of Milady. Well, I guess I could go Land War Elf on one and then Wow Growth on two and plus Temple. It's just that if I do that, Wow Growth is probably getting countered. We'll see. Gross. So close. Silly temple. Temple looks sweet though. No, no. I needed that cast down. Why couldn't we have our game two hand again that had just like all those explore creatures? Such a cheap and effective deck here. You know, all these spells costing so little. You know, they play one spell on turn one, then start double spelling every turn after that. That's really effective to already start double spelling on turn two. Yes, this would have definitely played out better if I would have held up Veil vale on turn one, but there was, there was just no way that I was going to be doing that. I, w I would have played Temple on turn one much, much more than play Veil vale on turn one. Like, I, I hadn't seen any discard from them before. Like, this is the first time, this you know, this is the first game that we saw a discard. I would just, holding up Veil vale on turn one, while it would have, it would have worked out a lot better for me, I had, there was no way I was doing that. I had no... But still, if I would have gone Temple, would have been about the same. That'd be five cards over there. I, I have to hope that Kitato is chilling with even more lands. Haven't missed any land drops yet. Yeah, 
And of course, I could really use a Jade Light Ranger or a Branch Walker. Preferably Branch Walker, so I would be able to have double Veil of Summer up. It's been a good match, though. I don't think I'm winning it. But this is a a good it's a good match. Yep, explore deck needs explore creatures. More news at ten. The Veil Summer will still be good. They'll still counter something, draw a card. Because uh, Kitato's kind of forced. It's like our Kitato's kind of forced to do this to get these Brineborn Cutthroats bigger. Because if they don't, they just. If it just goes to attack next turn with the 3 2, I can just double block with the two Wild Growth Walkers and have one trade with that, and then I have this one that checks the other one. So they are forced to start the action here, which is good for me. So now I'm not going to double block because we have the Branch Walker. Certainly hoping to play another land. I don't like that there wasn't a land being played there. Which really means three spells. Citadel, not the best draw here. Not the best. In fact, probably the worst. Yeah, probably the worst card in the deck to draw. Yep, land would have been better. Scry top. I am not likely keeping this Wild Growth Walker on top. Gonna kind of see what happens here. I have, I'm just keeping it right now because I, so I just have like more options instead of just ditching into the graveyard. 
because I do like with having the field of ruin, I have more decisions I can make. Alright, so one removal spell won't blow me out here. sure why the branch walker was killed and not the wild growth walker like legion's end sorcery though Cutthroats have just been incredible. I wonder what our opponent's deck looks like if if they don't draw a cutthroat in a game though. A cutthroat's been the only good threat that we've seen in the three games. Like what's it what's it like if they don't draw a cutthroat? going on here I'm not out of it yet I'm close to being out of it though yeah the clients like are you sure you want you sure you want to cast this they're like Sure you don't want to cast this? Go ahead, play this. Play this. Come on, it's just a little Assassin's Trophy. Aptly named. Okay, I'm at one.
Now that Citadel is not great. I don't really like the how they have it like off place like this now. Not really a big fan of that. And they they could obviously just have another flash creature. I'm just not gonna attack with the land war elf. Hey, what's up, boo? Come on, Key, you're killing me. Monkey. See, so yeah, I don't. I don't think it's worth it to assassin's trophy the drowned ca drowned catacomb. And I guess I just keep Citadel or the Whisper on top. All right, one and one. GG's there, Kitato. All right, so if you'd like to be the next subscriber to play against me, go ahead and type the word battle into the chat. It's for subscribers. Gotcha. Budget version of the Sultai Flash. Dropped green and using 21 lands. I mean, like, so what... Like, what are your other threats besides... You know, like, the Cutthroat is awesome. Like, do you... What else do you have? Like, do you just have Cutthroat and, and the Siren? You know, like, you had... You know, you found, like, three Cutthroats in the top... You know, part of the deck. Like, what if you don't... What if you don't draw Cutthroats? That's what... I was looking at the deck wondering, like, what do you do, like, if cutthroats aren't at the top? You just have two dire fleets, that's it? Oh, wow, so yeah, you really need to have, wow, yeah, so you're really relying on cutthroat. Okay, all right, looks like everybody's in here. Who is up next? All right, H. Risto, sorry about that. It's just for subscribers. I'm going to try again. Sonic Bob. All right, Sonic Bob, send me that. Send me that gamer tag. All right, here's my gamer tag. And I need to spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing up next. Letting the wheel decide.
Rakdos, Gruul. Definitely a mid-range deck. We're going Gruul. Alright, so we're going... Opponent here. Where's Gruul mid-range at? Gruul mid-range. Alright, so this is the deck uh, that we've been playing in Mythic. This is one of my... One of the decks that we've had that's been playing the best for me. So Sonic Bob's got a tough one here. Let's use this mountain. And then, yeah, like this this forest. That that's the that's the good green red forest. Alright, so I need eight mountains. And I need nine forests. Okay. No, I don't know when the the next MCQ weekend is on here. I haven't seen anything about that yet. Oh, I should have changed Lazav. Should change my avatar every time I lose. Alright, so we've got ramp into Rekindling Phoenix, and then see what happens after that. Storm team there. Okay, so blue white flyers. What we got going on here? Power surges through these lands. This is not a bad one. Rise, my elemental friend. And this always feels like whenever you tick up on whatever land, it's already like whenever Whenever like that re that ability resolves to take up on the land, the land's just immediately attacking already, and you're just like, whoa! Just you're suddenly in combat and it's attacking and all that kind of stuff. This game's not over. Sonic Bob can win this. Stop. I have certainly lost with Nissa in this kind of matchup before. That, that card that like untaps all their flyers and give them plus two plus two, that card's pretty messed up. That can like just kill a whole bunch of my creatures and everything. This game's definitely not I mean I've I have like just a wonderful, wonderful star with turn three Nissa. Don't count Sonic Bob out yet. Don't understand how Vela Summer works. That's a good one. It's a real good one. Yeah, it basically means that blue and black things can't they can't counter anything, they can't target anything. You can counter Vela Summer though. And that's what you kinda have to do, is you have to counter Vela Summer. If if possible, obviously. Two, four, five, six. Yeah. I need some kindling. That was just like a perfect draw.
I was going to be able to go Chandra minus three, clear up their board except for the 4-4. Four, four. But still, then I have too many things. It just kills my land war elf and the phoenix, but the phoenix would come back anyway. Um, wow, I'm playing two harpooners. That's fortunate. Get some harpooners. What else? Lava coils. I don't know. Lava coils fine. Rex Sage can like you know blow up that enchantment. Shifting Ceratops can have reach. There's a lot of cards that are like fine, but I don't know if super necessary. I don't even know what I want to take out for these Harpooners. Like, Harpooners definitely coming in, but I don't really see anything to take out. Like, I guess... I don't know. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Like, maybe the... the these little Domries, maybe? I feel like Growth Chamber Guardian is honestly pretty good in this matchup. Just being bigger than their stuff, like, you know, winning races and getting me multiple threats. I don't know. I'll just take out these little Domries. I don't think this is a... From looking at the deck here, I don't think this is a great match for Sonic Bob. But we'll see what happens. I'm going down to six. Hmm. Not the bestest of hands. They're a relatively cheap deck that counters Scape Shift. Yeah, uh, I mean, you could just put together like Mono Red and just play Blood Suns. You can just play a bunch of Blood Suns in your sideboard. That's something you can do. If your whole goal is just to, to have a cheap deck to counter that to beat Scape Shift. My my, how you've um, Yeah, mono blue. Also, mono blue. You can be playing Ashiox in your sideboard. Keep them from searching with Scape Shift. Maybe a blue black control with Ashiok and you know just. Put together a whole bunch of cards that are good against them. Legion's End, Cry the Carnarium, Ritual of Soot. All that kind of stuff. I've seen too many species die already. Maybe we need to take out some Nissas. But I guess I'm about to be on the play. This is going to be better. That's certainly a way to lose. Have all cards that you can't cast. It's definitely a way to lose.
do have 25 lands. Like, I kind of want to play these Lava Coils, but I don't really want to take anything out. One Rex Age. Get this Nissa back in. <laughs> yeah, the cat emotes are the best. All right, better hand. I have multiple green and red sources. So, and a Paradise Druid. So I shouldn't be unable to cast cards this time. So yeah, we could go to Harpooner and, and get the two for one. Well, that's a little worse. Now Harpooner doesn't get the two for one. But I wanted to go Paradise Druid first so that I could double spell with Harpooner, Growth Chamber Guardian. Favorable wins. There's a card that it makes me kind of regret that. I'll take it. We get to kill their kill, you know, kill a two-two, and still keep our harpooner around. And spellbreaker tramples over. make life a little harder. Yeah, do the sailor first. Doesn't seem like I really need to play Phoenix with it not being able to get through the Drake. So we're just gonna keep playing Growth Chamber Guardians. Growth Chamber Guardians being awesome though. Draw on the second harpooner. Getting some luck there. Yeah, now you see why I didn't sideboard out the guardians. Getting some luck for Team Todd there. And I'm up two to one. All right, who's going to be the next person to play me? So if you are a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat. There we go. If you want to be the next person to play, we've got a lot of people out here now. And I'll be spinning the wheel, see what deck I'm going to be playing up next. 
<laughs> yeah, sorry, Sonic Bomb. Yeah, you went, you went a little, yeah, you went with your meme deck, like, yeah, you went slightly meme, and I had just a really good match up there. Like, w even when I was sideboarding, I was like, oh man, this is, I feel bad for Sonic Bob. I had, that's one of my very best decks, though, Gruel Midrange there. All right, let's see who's up. Disposable Hero. All right, Disposable Hero. Send me that gamer tag. Thank you kindly. All right, let me spin the wheel. See which one of these 37 decks that are left I'm going to be playing. Gobos. All right, goblins. Haven't. Haven't touched this deck in a minute. All right, so we're going to have to update our basic lands. Let's go with this one. Twenty four. All right, so what did we do to this deck last time? Mm, Got to get another one of these in the sideboard. All right, so I got some Skirk Prospectors in here. We didn't have Prospectors in here last time I played it. All right, this one looks sweet. Um, Spartacus, you can only activate Vanifar at sorcery speed. You can't, you cannot instant speed Vanifar put in Frilled Mystics. That's something the Vanifar says on it. Only activate it at sorcery speed. I'm going to need to draw well. Man, I keep on forgetting to change my avatar. I had... Yeah, Necrolepsy, I had uh, a couple channels in the Discord for challenges, but they just weren't used over a few month period, and so uh, I kind of I cleaned them up and, and got rid of them. Um... But as far as just wanting like a voice channel, like whenever you challenge somebody, you should be able to just have a direct call. Like you should be able to just call that person directly. All right. Whenever I said I needed to to draw well, I wasn't envisioning drawing land six and land seven by turn three. We need to get the ringleader. That's our that's our best draw. We need ringleader. Wow. On fire. All right, ringleader got me two goblins. I'll just put some lands down to the bottom. Ooh, the Woodland Champion. Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down.
Ethereal Absolution. Oh darn. I can sack Ember Hauler to do two damage. Now these are the card style lands. The ones that I'm using right now. These are the card styles. These ones are the War of the Spark card style ones. I think they were 2,500, I believe, gems, that is. All right, so we're playing against Abzan Tokens. Um, honestly, I kind of like my main deck here against Abzan Tokens. I don't think I really want the one-for-one -one removal spells. I could see playing another Volley Veteran, but I think I'm going to keep this the same. TBH. Let's do it. I haven't. I didn't. I didn't get the Zendikar full art lands. I just like the card style stuff. I. I don't know exactly what those look like. I haven't seen them on the battlefield yet. I haven't played against anybody that's used them. All right. Just need to draw a land or two. Certainly one land. Not a land. <laughs> All right, Sonic Bob. I'll see you later. So War Chief, of course, can make these things cheaper. That's why it's called War Goblin War Cheaper. I don't think that's the name of the card. So this Wilden Champion is going to kind of get out of hand. Probably raise the alarm. I feel like I should have just killed that Woodland Champion with just going Crater Maker, Firebrand. Oh darn. I will teach you humility. 
back. That's gonna make this more difficult. Not looking good for me. <laughs> All right, Guru. Yeah, these are full art mountains. Or I guess they're technically labeled as card style, mar mountains with card styles. Let's get another veteran in here over a crater maker. And let's try this out. Yeah, I played a Grixis midrange deck one time, Lumasi. Uh, that's and uh, it was alright. It was there was just a couple of small little things in the deck that needed to be changed, like like mana base wise and stuff. But it was it was all right as far as like it was like a, it wasn't like a real creature heavy I guess, but you know it was semi creature. You know it had a good amount of creatures in it. But I guess I haven't played like a a real creature heavy, like one that's just dominated by creatures. But yeah. So this is not a good hand, but keeping four lands in our twenty four land deck. And hoping to draw into our three drops. And we have like the 12 three drops that are all pretty good. Alright, I'm just going to kill this thing. Beat Tom. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that sub there. Y'all, let's get some hype for our new subscriber in the chat. Thank you very much. Built one with Knight of the Ebon Legion, Butcher Thief, Spawn of Mayhem, Bolos Kefnet. Yeah, like, those are all pretty sweet cards. I feel like a deck like that would be pretty good against control. I'm not sure if it'll be if fast enough or, you know, like with the way. painful mana base, all that kind of stuff for other aggro decks. I think that's where you'll kind of struggle. But... But besides that... Uh... Another great turn. Hmm. Not good. All 
All right, so sacrificing the Crater Maker really, really hurt me this game. If I don't do that, then I can play the Volley Veteran on turn four and kill, uh, like a you know, kill like a knight or something, or kill the the other thing. All right, so let's see. Go to blockers. We need to. Block, 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 block. This is just whenever they enter, right? This is actually going to work out really well for me. That actually worked out really, really well for me. Pretty sure I have this. Unless Hero gets a good draw here. Okay, that's a good draw. We're playing some more magic. This makes three threes. Yeah, I, I mean, I have it here. I'm definitely ahead on, on the battlefield. Kind of see who draws better. So of course I do have lethal if they don't if they don't have anything. But they have a removal spell for Trash Master. Yeah, I might have had I might have had lethal last turn with Warchief giving all the creatures haste. I think I I think I kind of forgot about that of Warchief giving all the creatures haste. So I think I did have lethal. I might have. I definitely have lethal now. Just whether or not I want to risk it. It's like let's say let's say this is removal spell for trash master everything shrinks down block 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 uh take three six seven eight nine ten eleven so if it is removal spell for trash master it's not lethal and then i just i just die on the way back could be march of the multitudes too yeah Let's see what let's see what the draw was. Nothing. Nothing. We have all in. We're having fun here, right? Like it's it's sub battle Saturday. Might as well just push the chips in, see what happens. 
GG's there, hero. GG's. All right, if you want to be the next person to play, type the word battle into the chat. <laughs> of course, this is for subscribers only. It was gold. Uh, it was a golden demise. Uh, yeah, you could have had March or just any. If you if you would have just had a a singular removal spell for a trash master there, I didn't have lethal. So yeah, any any single removal spell for trash master wouldn't have had me. I might have had lethal the previous turn. I forgot about my creatures all getting haste there. I might have had lethal the previous turn. Yeah, raise the alarm. Yep. Yeah, your token deck did pretty well against Goblin Chain Whirler. That is true. Okay, looks like everybody's in there. Let's see who's going to be my next opponent. Necrolepsy. All right, Necrolepsy, you know the drill. Send me that gamer tag. I'm spinning the wheel. What deck am I playing up next? Sultai Dreams. All right, Sultai Dreams. Oops, let's go over here, here. After this match, I'm going to stop the recording, uh, you know, split it up here with the YouTube channel, and I'm going to... Um, all right, so I need one island and two swamps. Now I'm going to reset arena. One island, two swamps. Okay. So this is our Sultai Dreams deck. Pretty sweet. Going fish. Yep, yeah, we're going fishing through time. What can I put in a gruel deck when I'm missing two spellbreaker? Um, you can have. I mean, there's just so many things. Honestly, a whole bunch of things like. Basically, any other three mana rare creature. Uh, you can also just go with a, more two drops or four drops. You know, like, so basically things like Living Twister, Thorn Lieutenant. Um, you can even go with the just the green red two drop that has uh, that also has Riot. You can go with Crowl Harpooner. Then you could also go with like Shifting Ceratops, Riptal Raptors, Rekindling Phoenixes. Like you can. You go all that kind of stuff. Definitely keeping. I don't know what I'm putting back. This is probably trophy. Don't really want to play trophy early. <laughs> You'll get there next time, I bad. Yep, you gotta be here between the matches. Mardu. Mar, don't play that card on me, please. Yeah, yeah, I wanna ask Kanto. So we can scorn a Judith. Or I could also just wait. I think I'm just gonna play the Ascanta. Celebrant. Oh no, gotta do that pre-combat, the pump.
This is gonna hurt. Ow. Where's our lands? There's a land. Ugh, that counts tokens also. Ow. Alright, down to eight. <laughs> Stop. Down to four. How many cards do I have over here? Five. I don't mind getting a land and playing the Narset, but obviously I'm taking the set. Oh, I should I should not say transform. I should not transform that. Yeah, the, the chances that I survive this is super super small. All right, surviving so far. I need oh, I need this Kefnet. I need a blocker, and then of course I need land. My deck doesn't really gain life. Oh, never mind. Maybe it does. Way to show me, deck. To be honest, I guess I don't really remember. I don't remember exactly what's in the deck, I suppose. I think I may have some Enter God Eternals in here. think. I'm digging for them. Not sure if they're here, but I'm digging for them. Just the trick for this. No, don't don't play that. I just just showed Cry the Carnarium. In mind. Yeah, Cry has a new sweet animation. Stop. Alright, give me my Kefnet back. I'm so lucky I hit I hit a card off a of Tamio. Uh no. Ooh, I have Ugin. Ugin's pretty cool. Nah. The past is never forgotten. Give me some more cards. There's Enter the God Eternals.
All right, so let's make them discard their card they draw. Tapped. I guess I only need one black source. I have learned much from my ancestors. Man, that was a lot of spells. Okay, stabilized. So we got Mardu Hero. Pretty cool looking deck. I got really fortunate for how many lands that they drew. So we want these Legion's Ends. Cry, an extra cry. Well, I only have two cries. Hmm, that's not very many cries. Noxious Grasp is going to kill a lot of things, I suppose. Hero, Soren, Cruel Celebrant, that other thing that like with creatures and stuff. It does gain one life. Yeah, we'll get it in here. Come on in. The water's warm. All right, we're gonna take out these casualties of war. And a Narset. And. Sixty two more. Or sorry, two. We got sixty two, so we gotta take out two more. Maybe one Tamio? Nah, Tamio's kinda busted. Hmm. I guess maybe it is a Tamio. Tamio returning out to the God Eternals is so good, but I guess it's only like really late game stuff. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the first Narset over the fourth Tamio. Well, we're gonna need to find removal, Spe specifically sweepers. Hey, what's up, JRR? No, the mold of five. Go help him out, pinchers. Nope. Yep. Mortify. That destroys my Ascanta, but I gotta I just gotta take the call to the feast. I got the card advantage already. Yeah, I think it's worth having four drawn from dreams in the deck. Draw from dreams is the kind of card that I don't know, it's just awesome. It It's our card advantage engine, basically. You know, it gets us really good selection, finds us exactly what we need. Um, it's just like such an amazing card to reveal off of Kefnetic Horse. Yeah, there's no there's no wait list. All you have to do is be here in between rounds. We do like giveaway style each round.
Huh. Well, there's five lands at the bottom of the library. Tamiyo can buy back Drawn from Dreams for us. Or the Ascanta. It's not a bad buyback. Oh, man, they're flooding out again. After Mold of Five and Six Lands. It's unfortunate for them. Let us have a story battle worth retelling. I follow the tracks of the wise. Yeah, Team Regolis is on the list. It's one of the... Oh, man, another land? It's one of the, like, 40 decks that I have for today. So I'm going to dig... Yeah. I'm going to dig for... Enter the God Eternals, but... Yeah. Darn, unfortunate mana situations there. Yeah, poor opponent. Just had uh, all lands both those games. Yeah, Necrolepsy, that was a flood there. Sorry to hear about that. Sorry, GG's though. All right, so that's part one of our sub battle stream. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons, but then click on over to part two that we're gonna be starting right now.